Hi, this week's lesson. So I'm posting weekly lessons. I'm a little early. I usually do them Monday or Sunday night for Monday. But this week's lesson is the um, about the importance of persevering and um, not 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 giving up, um, and especially in the area of sales. So uh, I have a you know my own coaching and training business, working with clients uh, where I teach uh, entrepreneurship skills. And, and, and business development skills. And, and I, I still love it, even after all these years, I really enjoy it. Um, however, I, had, I wanted to share an experience about the importance of not giving up. So uh, about, uh, I'm gonna say it would be about four years ago this fall, probably October, November, um, I was forced into uh, sort of a massive change at a, a toe bone uh, infection. Um, I was off work. I was, um, and I was kind of going, okay, well, what's next for me? Uh, I was on sick leave at work, but I knew that once uh, the sick leave was over, that the contract I had uh, with this organization, I'm not going to name names, um, but if you scroll down and see my profile and my work history, you'll probably go, oh, there he was there then. Um, but anyway, so I was off work and um, I knew the writing was on the wall that when the, the infection and the, the foot issue and the bone uh, calmed down and healed, that um, I'd be self-employed or unemployed because uh, I, I was working full time. So anyway, long story short, I got uh, on on the horse and started to uh, prospect and cold call as it were to get training contracts and uh, opportunities with organizations and there was one organization man oh man um, we hit it off at first and then uh, I'd follow up and no nothing no we don't have the budget no um, we're not using um, uh, online uh, webinars yet um, but stay in touch if you want, you know, I, I can't promise anything. So this went on for that full, full year and every once in a while I touch base or, oh, I always sent, um, I wrote an article in an online magazine and I did it every month and I sent the article out to inspire people and, and, um, and help people out. So, um, you know, I stayed in touch that way. I'd call every now and again just to check in. Not not like, you know, every week or every month, maybe every two to three months just to see. And, and then no callbacks. It was really disconcerting, truthfully. Um, anyway, this, you know, I, I called, you know, over the years, maybe three, three, yeah, about three years. And then this January, something changed person I was calling on no longer there there was somebody new this is an opportunity and so I spoke to this uh, gentleman a couple times and never heard back from him call back in March no April no even May May of this year call back early May just to check in um, hadn't heard from you we, we talked and you expressed interest well he's no longer there and now there was something somebody new and this person um, was really open and receptive. As a matter of fact, since then, we really hit it off. She joined a uh, group I run on um, Facebook. Um, we've had really good conversations. We're in alignment in terms of where our hearts are and um, how we sort of think and um, feel about life and business and where it's going. And um, and she liked some of the training programs that I, I delivered. And she booked me for three training programs in October. So mid-October, it's during Small Business Month here in Canada. So I got booked for October after, what, three plus years of calling, staying in touch, marketing, emailing, um, sending Christmas cards, things like that. So this is the lesson. Don't give up until you get a legal, legal letter saying cease and desist or you get thrown out the building. Don't give up because it's only our wounded ego that stops us. And you never know, things can change, 
right? That's like taking your lotto ticket uh, uh, after you bought it and you, you, you give it to the, the vendor at the store. Can you check my lotto ticket? And you hear, you know, the music. Hey, you know, winner. Do, 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 do. Right, it goes off, right? That's what this was. It was like my lotto ticket won, <laughs> right? Now, did, you might not win the big jackpot, but a win is a win is a win. And you want to take those wins and keep moving forward. So now we have a new uh, person in charge. We really get along. I could see us doing more work in the future. Uh, I finally got booked after all this time. And so my lesson to you is don't give up. Keep at it. Don't go crazy. You know, and also in terms of uh, hustling somebody or a client. But be you know methodical and and polite and upbeat and positive and uh, you'll get there you really you really will you'll get there and 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 you know the no it, it, it just wasn't time it was we weren't in alignment this person you know there was and, and, and truthfully I don't know I don't know if if she said yes if I'd even want to work with them but I was just always you know what there's nothing if you don't try you don't get right and if you don't ask you don't receive so you always have to ask and receive I've gone on long enough this is my little weekly tip um, I hope you like it have a good weekend and a good next week ahead the week of July 11th and I really hope this helps you do well in your business today